Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode 9 with the series here and this is actually really cool I was I just booted the game up and this popped up and this is a pretty big deal so I just accepted it it was basically saying that our um, it's gonna upgrade our spaceport from level 1 to level 10 I haven't even showed the spaceport off yet but we're gonna go look at that in a second uh, major metanational corporation is offering to invest 18 million credits in your efforts at colonization. That being said, if you accept their investment, they will expect to be given expanded rights on Mars, signifying a 10% reduction in, their, in the independence movement. Would you like to accept their offer? Refuse. Okay, so if we go to the colony now, the which I believe it's here, the spaceport. Nope, it's at Hope. The spaceport's upgraded to a level 10, so I don't even know what that's going to give us, but it's, it's probably crazy. Spaceport. Oh, it didn't actually go through. Oh, no. That really sucks, actually. 144 population, 15 pressure. Boy, that really sucks. So, for whatever reason, it didn't. I should have just accepted it. Oh. Oh, I want those, but. Okay. Let's go ahead and use our culture point that we've got. That really sucks that that didn't go through. I should have clicked on it. The other pop-up must have gotten rid of it. Okay, well, that's that's all right. Anyways, we can take a look at everything we've got here. You can see that water's looking pretty good on the planet. It's actually good enough now that we need to start cutting it back a little bit. So I'm going to start upgrading everything. We're almost to the goal, but I want to start doing the geocisterns and getting them up and running a lot now. In fact, I'll even go so far as to disable the cloud seeder and then upgrade that one and the other one. And a sequestration plant. That's supposed to offset pressure wear. 10 oxygen, 20 water. Right here for the spaceport. So get that upgraded because that spaceport's actually increasing pressure, which is not good. What's pressure at though? Did pressure need to go up a little bit? I think it did. No, it's actually a little bit higher than it should be, but it should be okay. We'll get that upgraded to where it needs to be and that should go ahead and we can actually disable this until we get this where we want it since we're not taking the population in anyways, but we're going to want to get another hab dome here shortly because we've got to get this population higher if we're going to get more culture points to get our independence. Uh, we do want to keep working on a couple other things. I'm going to show off some other stuff here. The satellites, now that we've got the spaceport, we can go ahead and start building satellites. And satellites give you a couple different bonuses. Let's turn the spaceport on so we can see what those bonuses are. And actually, let me go real quick into, I'm all over the place right now. Let me go into Sabouts because I think I need to, yeah, I need to upgrade this Geocistern. I'll go ahead and upgrade this Hab unit too. For the heck of it. That's minus, oh, the Hab Dome's plus 20 water, so we need to get these up way higher. I got to get that up to plus, uh, minus 20 to offset that. Hopefully we can get it there. Minus 10 oxygen. Plus 10. Plus 10. Minus 10. Okay. And yeah, if we go back here, we can see that that's all that's. Nothing's going up there. Plus 6 for pressure. It'll equal out. Oxygen staying the same. And water we've already started cutting down. Okay, so that's good. We'll be all right. All right, let's look at uh, the satellites again. So these are the couple different satellites you can build. You can also do natural satellites and build uh, colonies on the moons, which is always nice because it's a good way to raise your population if you want to. So you can just do some hab domes and such. Um, not a bad idea, so we actually should go ahead and do that. And we could do it here as well and get a hab dome up. That's going to quickly get our population up. I believe that does count towards your overall population. So that should get us more culture points having those two hab domes. Go here into satellites. 
artificial satellites. We've got the space elevator, which gives a population boom in all colonies. Soleta, which is a global temperature regulated automatically, so it'll make sure the global temperature is at the perfect spot. Sky Farm, so a biomass water restrictions are lifted. Uh, Lagrange Academy, so all culture adjustments are free. Orbital Surveyor, mining resources visible without scanning. I'll probably go over the Orbital Surveyor. Only the Space Elevator is accessible in expert mode. How interesting. So I can actually only build the Space Elevator. So I didn't even know that for expert mode. That's new. I've never made it this far in expert mode to figure that out. Um, every other colony plus 100, a socket colony plus 250 population plus 50,000 credits. So we at least get the extra credits and the extra population, which is fine. So I guess we'll just go ahead and start building it. Oh, it takes 100 million credits, but we've actually got it. So yeah, might as well go ahead and build it. Okay. So now with that being said, let's go back to the biosphere. We can take a look. The uh, it's running rampant, it would appear. Current health 156%, but we do have our microorganism here. Boy, okay, so it's running kind of rampant. Uh, we're gonna have to cut it down then, which is gonna cost us credits, but we've got to kind of balance that. So that should do it. See if we can get that down into the green zone. Producing a lot of credits a minute though. All right, and then we'll want to work on getting another species, but we don't have the ability to do that just yet because we've got to research another thing here. I did go for the tidal enclave so we can get the one aquatic species. Now we're going to go for the terrestrial, the two terrestrial species. That's plus 10 heat that that's going to produce once we do build that in an area. But uh, we'll offset that by building in whichever pop, uh, colony I build it in. We'll offset it by building something that uh, dissipates the heat. And I want to get the aqua one set up. So where is the other one? Automated nursery, so we'll probably put the Aqu Aqu one, he one here as well, the Tidal Enclave. And we'll build that so we can get our aquatic species going. But yeah, that's uh, that's actually where we're at right now. Hopefully I can balance this out. We'll find out. Ah, here, it's starting to go rampant. Getting to healthy 70%. Uh, we don't need it to go that far down that fast. So we'll cut this. Let's call off like... 30% and see what happens. So it tells us. Hundred and ten. So we could do forty percent and that would make more sense. And that should get us to a hundred percent, which is where I want to be. Ah, whatever, close enough. Okay, then we can work on our aquatic one next time once that's built. And once we get our aquatic species going, we'll start working on our next two land species as well. So I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you next time.